Hey, what's up guys? It's me, iPod Touch Helping, and I want to quickly make this video about the new 4.0 GM jailbreak. Uh, this works for the 4.0, the people that do have 4.0 firmware, which uh, I, I, I'm not going to make a video on because you cannot get it unless uh, you're a developer. So um, you cannot get the 4.0 firmware yet. Well, there are ways, but uh, I'm not going to show you guys how. But if you are one of those people with 4.0 firmware, I'm going to show you guys how you're going to be able to jailbreak that. And if you're, I'm going to be showing you how to do this for the iPod Touch 2G, which I have right here, and the iPhone 3G. Since both of these devices also, uh, when you do update to 4.0, do not allow you to do multitasking and uh, change your wallpaper, um, it's actually going to allow you to enable those features as well during this jailbreak. So... Uh, I don't recommend you do this yet. This is still in beta, so that's another reason why I don't recommend it. And also, a lot of the uh, apps in Cydia, you won't actually be able to download yet because they don't support 4.0. So here it is. I have 4.0, and the only thing that really supports it right in Cydia is... Uh, I haven't even tried Winterboard or anything because I'm not sure if it works. But the only thing that does work, I'm pretty sure, is install. So I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I did see an update on... Uh, Cydia for 4.0. But I just proof that I am on 4.0 as of right now. There's the multitasking feature, and I also have a categories thing right here, or a folder right there. But yeah. Alright, guys, so to do this, you will need to download Red Snow 0.9.5 beta first. And once you have that downloaded and everything, and you are on 4.0 software. This is not the official 4.0 software 2 because that has not been released yet. This is for the GM and the beta 1 and beta 4 uh, 4.0 firmware. So first what you're going to want to do is open up Red Snow, whether it's for Windows or Mac and you're going to click Browse and you're going to find that 4.0 software that you have already. And you're going to open it up. Now it's going to check it. If you have the MC model for the iPod Touch 2G uh, this will not work, so make sure you're not on an MC model. Click No. And then right here, what we're going to do is click Next, right down there. And it's going to do its thing here. And uh, I'm not actually going to do this, guys, this jailbreak, because I, I'm already jailbroken. But I will show you step-by-step step what you're going to want to do. So what you're going to want to do is make sure Install Studio is checked, and make sure Enable Multitasking is also checked. And the other two features, if you want to mark them off or check them off then that's up to you. You're going to click next and now what you're going to want to do is make sure your iPod or iPhone is fully turned off right now. So right here you're going to want to turn off your iPod right there or iPhone. So and then you're going to want to make sure it is plugged in but I'm not going to do the jailbreak like I just said because I'm already jailbroken. So now that it is a hundred percent off you're going to want to click next and follow these things that I say. I'm not I'm not going to actually do it. You guys are going to see what I'm saying though. <laughs> Alright, so click next. You're going to hold down the power button for 3 seconds. 3. Hold down both buttons for 10 seconds. And now we're at 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You're going to hold down the home button for about 30 seconds. And then you'll get a white screen pop up on your iPod or iPhone, which mine won't because I'm not actually holding down on the home button but you're gonna hold on to it for 30 seconds it'll it still says there's 15 seconds left in this process but um, once you've done that you'll get a white screen on your iPod and then you'll get a screen saying downloading jailbreak data alright and it'll do its thing and uh, it'll start jailbreaking it um, if you want to see a really fast forward video I'll give you guys a link in the video description to what it'll look like when you are doing this process. As you can tell it says no device detected. That's because I have not plugged in my iPod. But then once you have done that uh, it'll do all its jailbreaking stuff. You'll o turn on your iPod and you'll notice that you do have uh, 4.0 firmware on it and it will be jailbroken but my iPod's off right now. This is a really quick video just showing you guys what to do if you guys want to do that. This was iPod Touch helping. Uh, I don't recommend you guys do this yet, but if you do want to go out and do this, feel free. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this video. I think I'm the first person to show you guys how to do this on a Windows computer, and I'll catch you guys later.